All right, let's do this. Decent start. Decent start. Um, definitely get the whetstone here. Could also go for a pan. It's on sale. I might as well. Another former DPS. Never bad. Get you two. Uh. Should I go for a shovel, actually? Usually I don't, but it might not be that bad of a... of a play. Let's go for a shovel. We'll rock this. Probably gonna lose. I always lose when I'm going for a shovel combination. So we'll probably lose this. But I do want to try it, just to see how it how it is. I feel like buying... I feel like buying the flames is bad. This is the second time I've seen a person that just like bought flame from the shop. Cause you get it anyways. You're literally getting it anyways. So why buy it from the shop? I don't understand that. And I'm kind of interested. I want to understand why people are doing that. Um. I'm gonna buy this lump of coal in you, just so I can turn into a burning coal. I'm gonna I'm I'm experiment a little bit and see how it works. Buying like a bunch of coals, because usually that's the like, that would be the way of gaining a bunch of heat in general, is just buying a bunch of the coals. Damn it. <laughs> Good game though. Because this gives you two after five seconds though. Oh, I don't know if it's worth it. I'm still gonna try it. But I'm not sure if it's worth. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Oh, he's got the molten spear. Which sucks for us because we have shovel, which makes him miss more often. But instead of missing, he's just going to do it at plus three damage. It's like the kryptonite of shovel. Oh, you thought I missed? Nope. Here's even more damage. Um. All right, we only got two lives left. We haven't won a single one. <laughs> that can't be a thing. Let's see. Fire. I should have put these inside of the uh, the fire pit. Okay, he's only got one form of DPS and it's only backed up by a whetstone. So we should win. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Good game. And we got our burning sword now. So that's our DPS increase. Which is good. Every time we gain a flame. And we're getting that for more. Um, should I buy this banana? Stamina generation? Healing? I'm gonna get it. That was, that's looking good. That's looking good. Um. Okay, I was like, you can combine those, but no, he's just turning on a, a burning sword. So he's got draconic orb. He's not, he's not getting that 15 though. He's not getting the 15 heat, so he's not gonna be critting. So I'm feeling confident in this one that we're probably going to win. More than likely. We already got 11 heat, so everything about us is faster. Plus, we got stamina generation from the banana. This is doing 7 to 10, 5 to 7. So, yeah. Definitely going to be taking this one home. Good game. Up oh, there's our first Goobert, which is great. 
Not sure where to put you. Um, let's see. I guess we could do this. That works for me. And then doing that. You know what? I'm just gonna do this instead. <laughs> Alright, I think that works. Give me another wet stone game, please. <laughs> Question mark. Holy armor, dragon skin, a hungry blade with a spike shows and a berserker. Berserker mode is no joke. <laughs> no joke, but we still won. Good game. There goes the chili to turn you into a nice guy. I will put you there. Um, let's got another blueberry. That'll work. I do want to get this orb. We can get the orb next round. Orb is not a make or break. We gotta get ourselves another. It's a 20% chance for us to get a whetstone. Kinda. Hopefully we can get one next round. Because we need that big boy sword. Ooh. Phoenix. Everything flame. Phoenix. Burning sword. Molten dagger. Double chili. I'm guessing not that worried about that phoenix though. I think it's doing him more harm than good. Because now he's about to come back to life, 70 health, but we're still in the lead. And he lost all his heat. So yeah, we'll take that one. Good game. I think now I think the Phoenix was doing him more harm than good there. Now we got Chili Gooberts. And we got our boy. Um Let's buy you some space. Some more space. And I was hoping for a whetstone. <laughs> not sure we're getting that whetstone or not. I think we sell the, the shovel now. Honestly. I don't know. I'm feeding for a shovel sale. I don't like it being here for that long. We'll see how next round goes, actually. Yeah, depending on how next round goes will depend on if we sell the shovel or not. Um, I think that's better. The more heat we have on this guy, the better. Then we both got both our blueberries there. We're just solid. All right. I think that's. I think the blueberries are gonna be able to, to generate enough. Oh, 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 oh! Wow. Okay, chain whip plus store. I don't know if he's going for a double chain whip on a steel goober. Huh. That's a lot of stamina gen. So much so that I personally don't think it's worth it. Because that is a lot of stamina generation that you're going to be doing, my friend. On the flip side, our stamina generation is doing fine. So maybe we don't sell the shovel. Not yet. Not yet. I need another chili. I need another chili. I also need space, so I can actually use this other goober whenever the time comes. Excalibur, eh? On a hungry blade? Does this look like uh, your generic Excalibur build to me? If you can get it working. Either way, our heat situation is pretty nice. 9 to 11, 10 to 13. Oh, now we're out of stamina, though. 
<laughs> now we got stamina issues. At 40-ish 7, we got stamina issues. I say we sell the shovel now. And that'll also give us space to use a scoober. Okay, so let's see. How do we want to do this, huh? Um... I say we'll have these two be the activators for in the middle for both Gooberts. Personally. Yeah, I'd say like that. Right? Um We'll do double blueberry over there and then we can do banana garlic right there this guy can be this <laughs> stop knocking on my door <laughs> God damn it. Jesus Christ. That did scare me for a second there. I was like, what the fuck? But then I remembered, I was like, oh yeah, that's that. <laughs> that was a good one though. That was a good one. I appreciate you uh, redeeming that, by the way. I don't think that's been redeemed in like so long. <laughs> that was actually scary. <laughs> I wonder if that got anyone else in the stream. <laughs> Imagine. Actually, we'll do that. Okay, I think this is solid. So you're as max as possible. Uh, we got the blueberries over there, garlic and banana over there. We got mana ore for the mana generation for this guy with all activators. We got a bunch of heat. So yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. Dark Lantern. All right, Dark Lantern and Molten Spear. The Phoenix is going to be scary, but he's got no generation for flame. So maybe we don't even have to worry about the flames, right? He has no, right? Other than the default flame he starts with, he has no generation for flame, I don't think. So his Phoenix shouldn't generate him that much, uh, that much health back when he comes back. Yeah, he's got to give himself a flame generator. Now he's out of stamina, and that should be game. Oh, he comes back twice. Okay, I didn't know how that worked if you had the Phoenix plus the Dark Lantern. So it seems like they're separate. They're separate activators, so you can literally just come back to life two times. Essentially. Good game, though. Boom. Getting a glowing crown would be nice because we don't have anything to use our mana towards except for the mana orb proccing, but I think I'd rather have that glowing crown and give us a little bit more time for our heat to ramp up. But it's 12 gold and I'm trying to get other things this round. I want another chili for the chili goober. Um, I want another whetstone if I can get one for the burning sword. And I also want to get myself a dragon. So if I can get all those things, that would be nice. Should I get a DJ lamp? It'll be faster activation. I don't really have to rely on this uh, banana anymore. Even though we're not going to be using I mean, I, I might as well. It's on sale. I'm going to get it. It'll be faster activator. I think I'm actually going to put it over here instead. Now, the flute, on the other hand, could be nice for stamina and everything else that comes with it. So I think we'll reserve that too. I don't know where to put that, though. I guess I could put it here, pointing downwards. That would work. All right, that's the plan. We'll do that. We'll do that. Ooh. Interesting. He went flame with, with double hungry blade. Why? Plus Dark Lantern. But why flame with, with like you have no stamina other than two bananas. 
You're definitely going to be stamina locked like crazy right now. Even if you do remove my buffs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're going to take this one. Damn, if we had a flute, we would, we would be able to proc uh, the lamp. I might actually get me a... Uh, yeah, we're definitely getting that flute. Because then we're going to be able to proc the lamp, which is going to be good. Almost got the 80 heat right there. Good game. All right, so boom. How much is this? Ah, it's not horrible. We could definitely fill up some slots down there. So that's not horrible. But now that we're doing that, we should probably move you there. So we can actually use you as an activator. Yeah, I'll keep you over here. Actually, maybe not. Well, no. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So, let's see. That's good for me. That's good. And you are activating you. Now we just need activators down here, which we can honestly just move all this over by one. That works. So you're looking nice. That's looking nice. That's looking nice. You can go there. All right, cool. I think that's good. I think that's good. Oh. Okay. A little, little, little magic staff situation. A little OG build, I see, yeah? A little OG. Okay, and with the leaf, double orby, with the magic staff. And it's all speeded up and everything. He's getting vampire gloves. 42 on my head. Another 48 on my head. But we keep getting faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. But his DPS is increasing and increasing. He's at 21, 23 right now. We are at 44, 46 with that, uh, that lamp rocking. Nasty stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You didn't have to do me like that game. Come on now. Come on now. You gotta you gotta you gotta be fair. That's not fair. You know how much damage this thing is going to do now? Plus one damage per heat. I just need to focus on heat generation at that point. That's all I need to focus on. Give me all the heat in the world. It's too much. This isn't fair for all the other players game. I hope you know that. Give me another chili. If you're really about it. I got to get it. I have to get I have to get it. I got it. Get it. I need space though. I need space. Um. Even all the heat. <laughs> no one watched the fucking smoke. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. We probably don't even use the burning sword anymore. Because we're going to have stamina issues. This is a 0.9 stamina usage every second. This is a 0.5. And if we have stamina issues, then none of our weapons are even going to attack. The heat generation isn't even going to matter at that point. So I say we sell the wooden, the, the burning sword, honestly, because this is going to do enough damage. We, we have so much heat. This is definitely going to do enough damage. Plus making it faster, right? The only thing is this gives us heat, 60% chance. So we're losing out on a little bit of heat generation, but I think it's going to help us out in the long run anyways. So we sell you. I can't even put you right there. Well, actually... Technically, let me see. If I move everything down by one, I'd be able to put you right there. You are a big motherfucker. You know that? <laughs> you are huge. But I need you for the activators and everything, so. Um, we might as well buy this. We're gonna need this space. Um, oh, I don't even need you up there. I was stripping. My bad. Which means I can move this up by one and move this back down here, too. For this guy.
and that'll give me clovers which helps me with my resistance of debuffs even though i'm not getting that many clovers um let's put you there should i just sell this i'm gonna buy this may i get the mana orb as well damn it i still want the mana orb though because the more mana i generate because this is going to be our like one of the best heat generators for us this guy right here so is this but if we can't get another chili for that we're going to be struggling i think let's sell you and we sell both of the clovers i mean not clovers but sell both of the garlics to buy you put you there so that should be good enough for our mana generation we shouldn't need any more mana generation at all we should be solid for our friendly fire to do the friendly fire work oh hold up he's got himself a busted blade he went runes busted blade plus fancy fencing rapier it's a lot of stamina generation he's only got one source of stamina gen too the hero potion and thus uh until berserker mode comes and then the stamina uh, uh is reduced so that's gonna be a thing and they trigger faster during berserker mode that's crazy that's interesting using cheese to making the cheese faster to gaining that maximum health very very interesting and then he's using that for probably the empowerment for when he had the great sword maybe i don't know oh plus three damage per empowerment so that's why he's got the fanfare for any empowerment increase to do the plus three damage interesting build we'll see how this goes he's got an interesting build though but we started with 15 we're doing 30 the 60 on a crit plus our burning coals haven't activated yet 74 boom we're doing 45 to 50 damage we're pretty much him <laughs> we're faster jesus christ bro the dancing dragon on the pyromancer is like it's like this okay Okay, this thing is 1.2 cooldown on a 57 to 62 damage, 50 damage per second, and don't even let it crit. And then I also got the Dejan lamp here for the proccing. We didn't even proc the Dejan lamp, but if we were to, Jesus Christ, it's just strong. It'll just be strong. Um, shit, what do we get? We could get another flute. Do we need another flute? We need a chili, bro. We need to turn this into a chili goober. That's what we really need. Let's turn this guy into a chili goober. Because that's going to help us out with our heat generation. The more heat we can generate, the better. The more heat we can generate, the freaking better. I feel like we should just W key. I give me a blood goober. Nah, I'm not getting a blood goober. Um, nah, I'm not buying that. A phoenix? Nah, it's too much space. Yeah, too much space. Not enough benefit, I don't think. This is what I really wanted. We're just now seeing the ruby egg. That's what I really wanted in order to get the obsidian dragon. But fuck that. We got the, we got the dancing dragon. It's better than the obsidian dragon. Likewise, we could also go holy armor in order to get the sudden armor just for the healing and then the removing of debuffs. Nah, it uses up our heat though. I don't want to use up our heat. I want as much heat as possible to utilize this dancing dragon. So I say we pass on it even though it's on sale. Man, I need to get the chili, bro. We're gonna have to W roll for this chili. I'm I'm not settling for a singular goober. Chili goober. I needed another chili goober. This guy's got an interesting build. It looks like it's just probably just gonna be the molten daggers. Um utilizing the heat, increasing the DPS of the molten daggers more than likely. Cause other than that, I don't really see it. <laughs> 106 damage. I don't really see it other than that. Good game. We don't really need another mana orb. Gaining a Whopper Tinger could be nice, though. Because the amount of heat that we gain will increase our stamina generation. Just so we're not stamina locked from this habit or, or going so fast. 
So I, I say that's a good cop, actually. Can I please get a chili? Getting this on sale is actually kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. I'll get me another cap of discomfort. Why not? Give me a chili. Give me a chili. Damn it. Game's not being nice to me. That's fine, though. That's fine. That's fine. Looks like an OG build. Looks like we got Leaf, Double Hungry Blade, Vampiric Armor for, with a Whopper Tinger. 100 damage. 100 damage. 122. 128. Oh my gosh, it's so strong. It's so freaking strong. It is so strong, bro. I could give me a second Whopper Tinger, but no. I don't think we do that. Give me a chili. On sale? You really want me to get you, don't you? I could put you like right there, but no. I don't think it's smart. I don't have any increase in DPS other than the Dancing Dragon, so you're just gonna say that 15 is 20 the entire time, which is not beneficial for me. Even though you make me come back to life and everything, I still don't think it's beneficial. Because as soon as you use up all that heat, this is going straight back to 15 to 20. I can't do that. No, sir. Man! All I need is one chili. One singular chili, and I'm happy. One singular chili. I will take the lump of cold, though, I think. Oh, we don't have any... D oh, we do have drag. Okay. Honestly, we could get, like... Because this helps us with our criticals. I mean, five hits on a crit is 500 damage. <laughs> like... I'm gonna buy another one, just in case we go against somebody. Because we could easily just go against somebody, right? Where their survivability is just kind of insane, and we're gonna need more than those five hits, so... We might as well get it. I, I don't think we're gonna need more than ten hits, though. For crits. So, yeah. We'll roll with that. What are we going against? Looks like a flame whip build. And a bunch of potions. That's fine, though. 60 damage 72 boom there goes all our coals proccing now we should be doing 100 crits yep that's was that three hits so far look at his health four hits one more hit five hits and now we should hit again for another crit oh we actually don't question mark oh we do okay i don't know why that wasn't a crit though this is interesting because they both reach 15 heat unless he crit resisted I guess it's very possible for them to crit. Ooh, crit resist. I guess it's very possible for them to crit resist. <clears throat> but I'm not sure what item would it would have given that crit resist. Interesting. Unless you have to like gain 15 and then you crit five times and you have to reach 15 again for you to crit five times again. I don't know. <clears throat> not sure how that works. But I want a chili. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I have to get me a chili, bro. I gotta get one! I should've got one at the beginning of the game. I only see one, though! Oh, this would be so much better with two chilies. It's fine, though. Holy sh... This is a dangerous build. This is a dangerous build. That's a lot of damage. They're doing a lot of damage. The fact they have 17 Clovers. He's got the Fencing Fencing Rapier. Double Fortuna's Grace. And all those Acorn Collars. The crit's going to be insane. Insane crit. Double strong. Okay. Insane crit. This is very scary. But we also do a lot of damage, right? Okay, we just crit resist. I don't know how we crit resist. We might kill him before he kills us. That's the plan. Two more hits, he's dead. One more hit, he's dead. All right, cool. <laughs> it's just a dancing dragon. I hyped him up so much just to die, just to die from the dancing dragon. Awesome. <laughs> Freaking awesome. I don't know how we crit resisting, though. Do you have like base crit resist? Oh, the caps or just one of the caps rather. 
15%. Okay, that makes sense then. Good game. Finally, we get the fucking chili, but it's the last round. Oh my gosh. That is so not right. The game could have done me better than that. The game could have done me better. They didn't have to do me like that. Come on now, game. That's not right. It's not right at all. That is not right at all. It's no point if it's the last round. Oh, I don't have no money. Um, I guess I'll just put you right there. All right. Looks like this is the final build. I'm so glad I got the burning coals now. Just because of the amount of heat we're able to generate with this build alone is freaking amazing. Holy crap. I was, I was so happy I got the Dancing Dragon, bro. I was so freaking happy I was able to get the Dancing Dragon with this build. Man, if I was able to get two of freaking goobers, though, it would have been so much better. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's see who we go against. Oh, a full-blown Excalibur build. Okay, Excalibur builds got some... They got some... Uh, they got some survivability, right? Because they... Oh, you just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is that? I've never heard that noise in, in backpack battles before. I've never heard of a creeper. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're nutty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I still think we won, though. Jeez. It's, Dancing Dragon is just too strong. Thank you for redeeming that. <laughs> I, I had a mini heart attack. A freaking mini heart attack. Man, 66 to 71 damage. Man, I actually wonder how much healing we did. It actually wasn't that much healing. Surprisingly. So the Goober healed us for eight. Well, at the same time, he did have double cap of discomforts, though. Sorry, healing was reduced by 60%. So I'd assume this went off like maybe like three-ish times, potentially. What about our heat? Where did we gain most of our heat? From Friendly Fire. And then the Chili Goober. Okay. I was about to say, that does not equal up to 50. I had to scroll a little bit more. Okay, that makes sense though. I like how this burning coal gave us one heat when it says gain two. What the fuck is that? What does that mean? How'd you, how'd you mess up? There's a few of them that did that. And the other ones are just like two. That is crazy. How did we gain? Oh, cause spikes. Okay. You gain heat from spikes from that. Okay. Gotcha. Interesting. That was really fun. That was really freaking fun though. Oh man, that was a good game.